The Dallas Water Utility's municipal water supply is a grid work of varying size water mains that are divided into two categories. Transmission mains, which are those 16 inches or greater, and distribution mains, which are smaller than 16 inches. When looking at the layout of the system, it begins with one of three treatment plants and is distributed throughout the city through the transmission mains. To maintain water pressure throughout the city, multiple pumping stations regulate the pressures for the various pressure zones throughout Dallas. From these transmission mains, the smaller distribution mains branch off and provide water to the residents, businesses, and more importantly for us, fire hydrants creating a grid system throughout the city. If you view the water main layout with an overlay of city maps, you'll notice that the water distribution system roughly coincides with the city streets. Because of this grid layout, most mains and therefore hydrants are supplied from both ends. There are, however, two very specific types of main layouts that can impact fireground operations, which the operator must be aware of, the looped main, and the dead-end main. Looped mains are distribution mains that are fed from both ends but are ultimately supplied by the same main. In this example here, there are four hydrants located along the main. Two of the hydrants are located close to the source main and will easily be supplied by the water source. However, you will notice that the other two hydrants are located between the two hydrants along the loop. If the first two hydrants supply aerial master streams, the available water for the remaining hydrants will be greatly diminished. Dead-end mains, while relatively rare in the city of Dallas, do still exist. A dead-end main is a water main that only receives water from one direction. There are several concerns with this type of main. First, sediment and mineral buildup can be significantly worse at the end of these pipes since there is not a continuous flow of water through them. The second, more problematic issue occurs. If multiple hydrants along a dead-end main are used, it can greatly diminish the available water flow to the hydrant furthest down the main. Again, not necessarily an issue for smaller single handline fires, but of great consequence for target hazards or defensive operations. One final detail about dead-end mains to take into consideration is that if a building's fire suppression system is tied into a dead-end main, similar to the one pictured here, the available water supply will already be greatly reduced prior to your arrival. Understanding that by connecting to multiple hydrants along a dead-end main that is supplying a fire suppression system will reduce the available water both to apparatus as well as the suppression system in operation. Unfortunately, identifying looped mains and dead-end mains is not a simple task, especially upon arrival to a fire. Therefore, it is imperative for both company officers as well as incident commanders to have a thorough understanding of their divisions and pre-plan their districts well. As mentioned previously, Dallas Water Utilities is divided into pressure zones. These zones are controlled at the Dallas Water Utilities Control Center, where both pressures and flow can be adjusted as demand increases and decreases. There are peak utilization hours throughout the day as demands change on the water system. These peak hours occur in the morning when people are getting ready for their workday, in the evening as most people are returning home, and during the summer nights when residents water their lawns. These peak hours can have a significant impact on the water supply when operating at a fire, especially during large fire operations. If operating at a fire and water supply does become an issue, the incident commander can have dispatch contact the water department to have the water pressure increased in that area.